First bait, ready to go out on uh, one of Cam's flasher rigs, half a muley. We've just cruised along the coast. We're actually tucked right in close. The wind is absolutely zinging this morning. We know that. We knew the forecast was for zinging winds, but it's going to drop out about 8.30 this morning. So we've gone for a bit of a trek and we're tucking in close for an hour or so. See if we can get a snapper or something on in here early and then we'll head out a bit later when the breeze drops out a bit. So for now, I'm going to get this bait in the water. I've got a soft plastic out that side and see if we can't get something on as the sun comes up. <laughs> Into one already. Something's just hit my soft plastic. Not too big, is it? No, it's not too big, but it's. I don't think it's a pinky. Oh, it's getting a bit bigger. Could be on there. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. Oh, a bit of weight to it. <laughs> yeah, it might be something pretty good then. It's not really doing much, but it's. Could be one of Jack's favourites, a stingray. It's not a stingray. Feeling like it might be a little dewy, to be honest. Well, he's calling it I'm early. That call early. Or Wobby gone. <laughs> Pinky arm, pinky arm. That's a little, a little pinky. Nice. It would almost go size. It'd probably be just about size. He's got that Berkeley power bait in his mouth. First fish, not bad. We could we called it for a Dewey, that was a mistake. It didn't really go like a pinky. No, it did went it? fight it took took really weird yeah. and fought weird. He can go back. Oh, here we go. That's pretty good. That's more life. That's a it? snapper for sure. Yeah, I feel like this one might be. Yeah. A size one at least. The drag was pretty light, but oh, okay. It still feels like it's got some of those big head shakes. Dead giveaway. So this was a third rod I put out. I got the soft plastic out that side. Got a bait out there, and I decided I'd put a third rod out here. I kind of miscued the anchoring a little bit. The ledge that we've I wanted to fish is sort of just open. Oh, here's a size fish. Um, lift him. He's probably perfect deep actually. Nice. Nice. No. Yeah, he's just off the beach, if you can't tell. So they get real silver when they're off on the sand, real close into the beach, compared to the red ones that get out on the deeper water. Yeah, he's definitely come off the sand. <laughs> We've got a feed in the uh, cooler bag anyway, so we're going to cruise along the coast, head down a bit and um, pull into the beach and cook up some breakfast and we'll wait for this wind to chill out a little bit. It's doing what's forecast, it was forecast to be pretty strong about now. So we're just going to tuck in on the beach, cook up a barbecue and then we're going to head out and see if we can't find some kingfish. We're just tucked in here by the beach, waiting for the wind to drop, cooking up some bacon, got a nice coffee, probably give it an hour or so, we're just going to kick in here, see if we can get some squid, maybe a couple of herring, and hopefully in that time the wind drops out and we'll head out and see if we can try and get some kingfish. That's the plan anyway, if not, we're quite happy just kicking back here because it's bloody beautiful to be honest. Haha, <laughs> alright, sweet. Might fill up the um, live bait well here and keep a couple of these for live baits for later on. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm watching. The wind's gonna blow us right, isn't it? It's all good. Probably anchor up here, the kings are there. 
<laughs> oh, seaweed. That was a king I saw it. Yeah. Not hitting it. Typical fussy dogs, eh? Sketchy in the zone. It's so hard to fish. Oh, that was a hit. Someone just came in and they got scared. Are you filming? Yeah, winding some line on that because that herring's under the boat now. Is he? Yeah. Just Something just scared him out. Don't cast him hard because you'll pull that hook straight out of him. Yeah, something. Oh, it dropped him. Brassington's from the bottom, I think. Right, so he's got this big bommy right here, and there was a bit of bait holding off the back of it. So I'm just going to try and line up on top of it. Yeah, sure. yeah, here it is now. Yeah, all right, now I'm going to spin. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Yay. Now I want to do is spin around and get the back facing into the wind if I can. Yeah, drop. Scorpionzo. The one we want. This is the one. Come on, come on, come on. Just take it easy on it. There's no need to kill it. Please drop the good old bottom meat to the bottom. Giving up on the jig and going with the bottom meat. Yeah, there had to be a dewy on there, eh? Oh, We're in shore. Look how close we are, about a mile out. That's good, whatever that's it good is. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah, silver. It's silver. Come it's on, the jewelry. Let's be size. You have to do it. Oh, it's size. Hang on, let me get a net. Look at that, he's still kicking. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we do it. Yeah, boy, get yes. it done. Phew. <laughs> how deep are we? 13 meters. No, we were in nine meters when you hooked it. Nine meters. <laughs> nine meters. Wow. Oh yes! Nice fish, man. You Ensure juice. What did he measure? 58 centimetres. 58! Beautiful. He can go on the fish bag next to that snapper. Sweet. Sorted! <laughs> Too Good easy, stuff. actually. Yeah, nice. Well, we're out of here today. That's enough for us. The uh, whole kingfish thing didn't really happen. It was so rough. The wind that was supposed to drop out at 9 o'clock. Yeah. It was supposed to drop out at 9 o'clock and didn't. It's now nearly 2 o'clock and it's still blowing its ring off. Um, yeah, that's just the way it goes. Doesn't matter, we're happy with this boat here. It just sucks it up anyway. It's not that big an ordeal. We can stay in here, out of the shade, out of the wind. Um, we haven't had a bad run back up the, back along the coast. So, just gonna have another swim. We're just having a bit of a dip and then we're gonna head in and that's probably it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Yo!